What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this Yakima roof rack system in our 2020 Mazda CX-5. It's going to be a great way to help you haul extra cargo outside of your vehicle, but up on the roof. So you can carry a ski carriers, you can put a cargo basket on top, you can even haul your bikes up there instead of using your hitch. All those things save space inside your vehicle. Let's check it out. So the combo we're using today are the jet stream bars with the baseline towers. And then we have a naked roof, which means there's no raised rails or anything to attach to. So we got this clamp. This is what's actually holding it onto the vehicle. It comes in here in the door jam and it is rubberized on the inside of the clamp. So it's going to protect that from getting scratched or damaged at all. But it's on there nice and tight. I'll shut the door and show you. I can shake the whole car and it's holding it in place. I'll go ahead and pop off and show you the inner workings here of the baseline tower. If I pull this plastic door out of the way, you use a tool that it comes with to tighten this part down and that pulls the clamp up in the door jam and that's what's helped holding it so tight. Now the baseline attaches to the jet stream via the T-track here on the bottom. You just take this cap off and slide it in there to get it started. It's got one on the top of it too, with the weather stripping in there. So you'll pop off this cap. Let me just go ahead and pop off the cap, show you. Pops off like that. You can put your accessory down in there and slide along the T-track. Now you can use a clamp to clap it around the bars too, if you have accessories that do that. Either way, it's up to you. Looking closer at the cover, I just wanna point out that you can pop out this plastic insert and replace it with a Yakima core. That way you can be all key to like and lock it up when it's on your vehicle. The jet stream bars are made out of black powder coat aluminum. So they're gonna hold up if you leave them on the roof. You don't feel like taking them down every time when you're not using them, you can leave them up there. The elements aren't gonna bother. It's not gonna rust or corrode, they'll be just fine. There is a weight capacity on these bars of 165 pounds. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're loading up gear on top of it. If you have a basket, don't overload the basket. I don't think two kayaks will overload it. You'll be just fine. Just keep it in mind when you are loading things on your roof. Now I'm going to give you some measurements. The bars themselves are 50 inches. Those are the ones recommended using on your CX-5. And let's see how much room you have from the bottom of the bar to the roof of the vehicle. Looks like three and a half inches from the roof of your vehicle to the bottom of the bar. So just keep that in mind. If you don't use the T-Tracks and you got clamps that are coming around, that's plenty of space. The clamps should not hit the roof of your vehicle. You shouldn't have any problems. But I would not use your sunroof the roof rack could come in contact with that, so it's better just to not use that while you have your roof rack on. One last measurement for your CX-5 would be from the front of the crossbar to the front of the car crossbar, they want it to be 30 inches. So that's how far apart they're gonna be, so that's what your spread's gonna be. Now, I do like the bars a lot. They are aerodynamic. They're gonna make a little bit of noise when you're driving down the road. Something to know if you've never had a roof rack on your vehicle before. You will kind of hear them a little bit, but it's not that bad. It'll be fine. They are actually super easy to install too. I was impressed with that. Let's check out how I did it. So I got everything laid out on the table that you're gonna get and how you're gonna get it. It might seem a little intimidating, but it's not that bad, trust me. I've got this one already assembled. So we're just going to do that on this one here. First up, take this plastic clip, snap it into place. Make sure you put the groove side down. It'll match the grooves on the inside of the foot. Snaps into place like that. That's going to help hold this in place, which this, once screwed in, is going to be what attaches it to the T-Track on the bottom of the bar. So I'm just going to hold it in place. You have this tab here you can pull that opens up access to that screw. So using the tool, I'm going to give it a couple turns and get it started. It's going to tighten down this block. You can see how it's kind of going down as you tighten it. So I'll leave that loose. That way you can still slide it underneath the bar. Push the door closed. That's what it looks like when it's closed. You can't access that bolt. Now we'll just pop off this end of our bar. It's gonna lift up on the plastic tab and then work its way out. We'll slide on our feet. Again, gonna match up this silver block and put it 
down in the track. Slide it pretty easy. I'm gonna slide this one all the way down to the side. And then put this one on too. Looks like I need to loosen this one up just a little bit. It looks, it slides way easier when it's just a little bit more loose. So now we're gonna measure between the two feet. We need 36 and three quarters in between them. If my tape would cooperate with me. Looks good right there. So we're in place and I can come back with a tool and tighten them down. I'm gonna use that bolt that you open the door to do. So I slid out that plastic. I'm gonna go until the tool is gonna pop twice. That means it's nice and tight. The next thing, once it's tightened down, that we need to adjust is the pitch. You can see I can manipulate this part here and this will go to one of these three spots. And you can see your instructions and which one to set it for. On our rear bars, we're gonna set it in the middle because that's what it says to do. It all matters on like the shape of your roof and how it tapers in at what points it does that. This just allows you to adjust that. That way it's at a slight angle if your roof is at a slight angle. To keep it in place, we got it there in the middle. Just tighten down this bolt right next to it. It's gonna keep it in place. That way you can't move it anymore. Now we're gonna attach our foot to here. We went got a little arrow at the bottom on this rubber strip. It goes right on there, and this portion attaches to the bottom. You want the arrow pointing to the outside, so we'll just line up the grooves in here. Push down until it snaps into place. Now I'm going to set our crossbar on the roof. I right, got the rubber pads installed as you saw that, so you don't have to worry about setting it on the roof. It's not going to damage anything. Try and get it lined up the best we can. And then we're gonna to need to measure the space between the two bars and make sure we get that right. I think it should be around here. And I'll go grab a tape measure. Now we're gonna add our clamp, which we're gonna slide up here in the slot here. And it's gonna catch, it's got a hook on the other side of this. I don't know if you can see it. I'll move my hand in a second. This is gonna be facing the other way and this will catch on the clamp here, kind of like this. So I'll spin it back around and then just slide it up through this slot. And let it catch up there. You can see I can't pull it back out. And I'll set it down in the door. And just like before, I'm going to turn it and wait for those clicks. Now you know it's nice and tight. Now we're ready to go ahead and shut the door. We can close this plastic door too on the inside and then add our cover. Now it's got hooks at the bottom that are going to catch down here. So you kind of hook it in and then just push it back closed. snaps into place, that's good. Really isn't that hard to get installed. You saw what I went through. Now at first it's a little intimidating to see all of it laid out on the table in separate pieces, but if you just follow the instructions or watch what I did, easily goes on there. It's on there nice and tight. You can shake the whole car and I don't have to worry about it rattling or any movement in the bars or the feet or the clamps at all. So I can be confident it's gonna stay on the roof for all of my adventures. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped.